What it do, YouTube? Megasonda here with a game review. This time is for the For Honor Dark Soul inspired action adventure game, Absolver. I think this one might actually be a gem, guys. I think Devolver Digital actually did a good job, but I have some gripes about the game. Stay tuned to find out. Remember to like and subscribe, and also share this out with everyone you love and know. In Absolver, you play as your creative character, who has to take on the village group known as the Fold. As you go through your journey, you explore different areas. Each area has its own boss that you need to defeat before you hit the big dog himself. The game tells you their story through NPCs that you find throughout the world, since the story is not the main focus. Now, I personally don't like this is because of the fact that exploration feels like a chore instead of something that you need to do. I feel like if the story was presented more out and open rather than through NPCs, it wouldn't feel such lazy. But what do I expect from a $30 indie game, right? The gameplay for Absolver is actually very interesting. Obviously taking inspiration from bigger name tiles such as For Honor, Dark Souls, and Neo, in the beginning of the game you're allowed to choose three fighting styles. Each fighting style has their own weaknesses, strengths, and combo list. The combo list is probably the highlight of the game since you create your own combos from learning moves. As you progress through the game, you learn moves from fighting enemies by blocking, dodging, and parrying. The one thing about this game is that you have to get good. This game doesn't really hold your hand when it comes to gameplay. It's literally pick up and practice, which I actually enjoy. I chose the windfall style, which actually is around dodging. At first, I had a difficult time using it because of my timing was off. So when I got used to it and I got my timing just right and on point, I started being able to do shit like this. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Online is only 1v1, which is not a problem since you and your bros can travel the world together. Absolver has a seamless open world. You can run into different players. You can either beat the shot out of them and get points, or you can join up with them for a mission. While tackling the on the six bosses with your bros, you can run over to a master and learn different fighting styles such as the Drunken Fist. Eventually, you'll be able to open your own school, which I have yet to explore yet in the game, but I love that this feature is there. However, there are some good, there are some bad. Surprise, motherfucker! The online capability may seem seamless, but the matchmaking with your friends is horrible. Mm -hmm. Oh, could not reach the player. How you cannot reach me? I don't know why. I'm still connected to the server. Oh, uh, let, let me hit. No. Get another one. I literally spent 30 minutes trying to join a party with a friend, and the servers just wouldn't let him. I mean, the servers are bad on arrival. I mean, bad on arrival. Here's one instance where me and Akeem were literally traveling through the world, and the game literally locked us in a cave for about 10 minutes. The servers are my only complaint about this game. It's perfect otherwise. It, yes, it is. It's so good, but the servers are so trash. <laughs> Yo, we're trapped. So he gonna walk in by accident and be like, oh, hi. <laughs> Yo, bro, what All the right, hell? So listen, we're gonna have to restart, bro. <laughs> oh my god, let me just, let me save this clip. Now this can easily be understand because Devolver Digital is just a small company and not really big and they wasn't expecting a big blow up. But if you show your game and big E3 and big events, get ready for a lot of people to pull it. Since IGN and many other big game companies are focusing on you, you obviously should have been prepared. But hey, I'm not going to be on you too hard. However, I'm still having problems with servers and I can't wait to see if they fix it because this game is actually really good. How about the combo editor? So my final thoughts on this game is that it's an easy pickup. This game has fun and interesting combat, a beautiful world, and a seamless online game. However, the only problem with the online is the fact that, well, the servers are not working really well. And I mean, servers were bad, and they were bad. I don't know how they were on PC, but this is the PlayStation 4 version, and trust me, I had a hard time playing it when it comes to online. However, this is, can be forgiven, this can later be fixed, but it cannot go ignored. Sorry about that, Devolver Digital. But anyway, here's my thoughts on the final game. I really think you guys should purchase it. It's only $30. And on top of that, the gameplay is actually really smooth. The combat's fun and everything. The story's practically not there. So I'm going to give it a decent score of a 3.5 out of 5.